I see students struggle with a team process a lot. And there's many facets that cause those moments of struggle. The first one is that, and it, it, it may be a little bit that this is a 400 level course and therefore you tend to get students who are coming to the end of their, their, their careers here at Western, but beginning their careers someplace else or really wanting to start their careers, is that there's a lot on students' mind. They're, they're interviewing, they're uh, pulling resumes together, they're trying to find jobs, they're worried about student loans, they're, there's a lot on their minds. And teams can fall apart if there's not a fairly equal level of participation. So that's one very common situation I see in teams. A second situation I see in teams is just uh, poor communication. Um, in today's world, we think everybody communicates great because in 140 characters done by your thumbs, you can say, hey, I just had a sandwich at Subway. But you need deeper communication than that to have successful teams. That means times, expectations, respect for others, listening skills, things that require more than in the moment uh, uh, moments. And so uh, that's another breakdown on teams. A third one is uh, a difference in expectations. Some students are in the learning experience to learn and the grade is highly secondary. Those students will want to debate a point, to understand a point, to dig deeper perhaps into the information, then some students who um, may have a different perspective will want to go. Other students are very focused on the grade. I need to have an A. I have to have something better than a B plus. Uh, and, and they're very grade driven, which means they dig deeply into the essence of the assignment, but may dig less deeply into the elements that are actually the, if you will, sometimes the core learning, um, but they're very focused on the delivery. And when those two types of students are matched together in a team, um, what I always find if those teams come to me is um, to say, I won't do this. But if you ask every member of your team which one they are, I'm a, I just want to learn or I'm in it for the grade, you'll find about a half and half split and that's why you're having so much conflict on your team. And sure enough, that usually is, is a core conflict point on that team. There's a last point that I find on, on teamwork which can be a, a challenge for people. And that is that there is a, a myth. Um, and the myth is that the grade is yours. As someone who has only lately come to teaching and spent most of my career in business, I so deeply respect that if you get a good performance review, it's because the team did well. And if you get a bad performance review, it's sometimes you mucked up, but sometimes just the business results weren't there. And uh, yet in our academic situation, because there's this need and it's important for personal accountability for your grades, it, it, there's a perception that says, well, it's about me. And so I'm just going to push through this assignment. And when you have a student or a couple of students who just push through an assignment, they tend to leave some carnage of students who really wanted to be part of the process, but maybe they don't process things as quickly, or, or maybe they're, they're, they were busy for a while, or, or we all know this happens. Students have personal lives, and people get sick, and they get sick, and things happen, and so they may be racing behind these driving students to, to catch up. Those are the situations I find that create the most conflict on teams. Having said that, there's a very positive flip side. If people are passionate about the craft of marketing, the people who know that they need these skills to be successful, they have learned through mistakes that they need to communicate well and they need to ask the questions of expectations and they need to manage those expectations. And so you end up with far more organically strong and hardworking teams that have better output because you've, you've kind of messed up the past several terms. And so um, specific to the question that you posed in terms of are there, there are people who struggle? Yes. But I find that if you, if you manage through the categorizations I provided previously or you simply take advantage of the fact these students have been through it now several times, you, you end up uh, on the whole with more successful student teams than I experience in, in most other courses I teach.